Okay, so now we're in the new building and we're down to the, the detail part of it. So they say 80% of the details are in the last 20% of the job and we're in that phase right now. You know, we've got a lot of decisions to make and a lot of puzzle pieces to put together so we can start to form that site picture of how this place is going to lay out. We're this close to getting this thing up and running and move into the next phase of, of our evolution of, of Rottweiler performance. So now that we have the machines in and place, that's really only about 10% of the job. Now we have to get the machines uh, leveled and checked out. We have to check the run out and there's a lot of technical aspects that go into actually getting that machine set up and done. So we uh, have been relying on Brandon Patton from Ellison Technologies. He's been my go-to guy since the beginning. And he comes in uh, with a technician and they get the machines leveled, make sure they're not settled. And then uh, once they're leveled and all the coolants in them, then they can run them through a run out check to make sure the machines are running true. And they usually get them within a couple tenths of a thousandth of an inch. Uh, in trueness to make sure that the machine is not twisted, uh, the way it's sitting and things like this. So it's actually quite a complicated setup. It's more than just placing a machine somewhere and plugging it in. There's a lot of processes that go into moving a CNC machine. We brought in Four Points Electric uh, to do the wiring and those guys, I gotta give it to them, they busted it out in about two and a half days. They had a whole crew of guys in here and they basically go to our main panel and they make sure that we have enough amperage, first of all, to run all the machines and then they run the conduit uh, in a commercial fashion. Uh, it's very different from homes. Um, and they basically hard pipe it and then drop lines to all the machines here to make sure that everything is, is wired properly. Then they have to make sure it's phased properly. If it's not phased properly, the only thing that happens is the machine runs backwards. So they have to go in and make sure all the phases are correct. It's a really intense job that you really want to get right as far as uh, you know where you put all the outlets and things like that because it can be quite expensive to actually add anything or, or change anything. So you want to get it right from the get-go. So when we took on this building, uh, it was basically painted white. It was a flat white and uh, any kind of flat paint gets dirty just looking at it. So we wanted to add a five foot high stripe in here um, that can be clean because some of the machines, they can fling some, uh, some dirty parts here and there and, and get the walls dirty. So. Uh, we decided on a color combo that we kind of had in our first building and it also is continuous with the look on the outside of the building. So we kind of wanted to show um, that, uh, you know, that uniformity in our complex to where, you know, it really reflects our, our OCD <laughs> quite well. So now we're also working on the shelving, which is kind of an important aspect in here. And, and there's a lot of dead space above equipment that you can utilize for for uh, shelving space. So we've configured these things so we can bring the forklift in and uh, fork on uh, palletized materials for the CNC machine. So we brought in our good friend Mitch to help us put them together. And uh, what's kind of nice is they're kind of like puzzle pieces that you can change throughout time and adjust. And I like setting up things that you can adjust depending on your needs. So some of them can be benches, some of them can be storage. Uh, and different things like that. Big thanks to everybody for watching this video. We wanted to give you guys an inside glimpse of what it takes to R&D the products that we make right here in the USA and to show you the complexity of putting something like this together, but also the reward at the very end of it. So thanks for following along and we'll see you in the next video.